welcome to Vagaring Book Reviews. I'm Sarah. And I'm Becky. And today we're talking about This Lie Will Kill You by Chelsea Pitcher. Um, I got this through Edelweiss. I think either Edelweiss or NetGalley. I got it somewhere. <laughs> I think Edelweiss. Some random man on the street wearing a <laughs> trench coat uh, gave you this book. <laughs> Sadly. But totally, you couldn't buy it and you can't sell it. <laughs> and you have to review it. In an honest fashion. I'm so adorably naive. I would accept that, too. Don't do that. I know. Don't take books from men in trench coats. I'd be like, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, do you have more? <laughs> can, can, I, can I see? Like, what? what oh, oh, that's a second book. I don't want that. Oh, 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 oh I want this one. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Something terrible happened at a party last year, and it ended with the death of a classmate, and now five of those attendees are sus suspects in his murder. These teens have unknowingly been invited to a murder mystery scholarship event, though why they didn't notice that something was wrong beforehand, I don't even know. Anyway, but it turns out to be a little bit more realistic than they realized as classmates start ending up, as, well, suspects start ending up dead and being attacked. So they're going to need to work together and tell the truth to get out alive. And maybe we'll find out who committed the murder. Bum, bum, bum. I just didn't like this book. This book took me about a month to read. I would read like 25 pages and that would take like hours and I'd have to set it down and switch to a different book and... I got through it a little bit. I, I mean, I got through it quicker than that. I mean, it wasn't... It wasn't something I fly through because this isn't the type of book I like to read. Like, I don't get into mysteries. Everybody knows it. I talk about it all the time. I don't like mysteries. But I can certainly see myself giving this to a, to a reader. I can certainly see a reader liking this. I mean, it's very much the Riverdale, the Clue, the I Know What You Did Last see? Summer kind of conglomeration. It's not as good as all of that, but you're not really expecting it. Because, you know, when you're in the mood for that, you're going to read this. But to me, like, this book, that's what they're doing. They're saying, oh, it's Riverdale meets Clue. But it's not really. And I... I mean, and but Riverdale's murder mystery, right? But it's it's not like this. I've only seen, like, three episodes. So I was trying to figure out why I didn't like this book. Because I usually do like mysteries. And, like, the characters aren't great. Their backstories aren't great. It's trying too far hard to be, like a, like, a film noir kind of thing. And I was trying to, like, I'm like, what is it? And honestly, the writing did not grab me from page one. A good mystery, it should happen, like, page one, you should get hooked. Oh. Yeah. And I know this because actually while I was reading this, I was listening to one of those um, Brittany Cavallaro, Sherlock Holmes, the uh, Scarlet Holmes books. And those are excellent mysteries. And, like, from the first second I turned the audiobook on, I was hooked. And this, and honestly, I assumed it was her first book, and it's not her first book. And I was like... I mean, like, did you not like the characters because they were unlikable? No, I honest, I think it's the writing. Like, I don't feel like the characters were developed enough for me to care about them. There's nothing there. And you're supposed to care about. Like, in some ways, you want them to survive. And the bad guy was so obviously bad. It was, like, painfully yeah, he was bad. Yeah, was and it was like <coughs> every one of the good guys played into like these ridiculous stereotypes. And I just, and honestly, maybe at a different time I would have read this and been like, oh, whatever. But like, it was, and I here I will be quite honest. So I was reading it off of my Kindle while I was watching um, the OSU and Northwestern game. And I would get to a like ridiculous part and I would read it aloud to a room full of people and they'd all be like, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I mean, but it's like it's it's YA trash that like the kids like. So I, the the mystery readers at my library would not read this. They would bring it back and be like, mm, no. You think they expect well, more than this? And I guess it's really kind of hard for me to gauge because I don't read mystery, but I could see like a reader kind of getting. I could see a TV watcher read this. I don't know. Like, if you're more likely to watch TV mysteries, then you'd totally be fine with this. But the Riverdale kids aren't going to read this. The Riverdale kids read the graphic novels. And when I say, oh, this book is kind of like Riverdale, they're like, no, don't want that. They only read the Riverdale graphic novels because there are Riverdale kids. And I'm sorry, but my teen mystery readers, by the time they're 13, 14, if it's not a great YA mystery, they're in the adult section. 
Because I've got 13-year-olds reading Sherlock Holmes and Hercule Poirot. So I no. And I take a like I take a lot. I like paranormal mysteries. I like supernatural mysteries. I like like um the Stalking Jack Ripper series, those are historical mysteries. Loved those. This just mm, no. <laughs> I mean, but it had elements of like saw in it. I just I don't know. I mean, it was it was fine. Like for me, it was fine. Like I, I wasn't reading to a room full of people, but I could see how it could get to that point. <laughs> it was miserable. <laughs> so you know, uh, okay. Let's just let's just rate this. Okay, so our rating scale goes from five unicorns down to two unicorns. <laughs> we don't like it. It is a horse. Um, where are you? I've never done this, but I I think it's a horse. Whoa. Yeah, it was. I'm kind of between a two and a three. I'm a I'm gonna go th I'm gonna go three. I'm gonna offset your one with my three because I definitely will be giving this to readers. I definitely think there is there are readers out there for it. They're not looking for anything too deep, which is this isn't. This book makes me ragey. <laughs> so that okay. is where we are on This slide Plays will kill you. This slide will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> See you around later. She liked that book so much. <laughs> Bye. Bye.